Secretary Chukaramuna, asking first whether he'd like to congratulate the government on achieving the lowest level of unemployment for seven years. Well, Adam, any fall in unemployment is welcome, but we've got to look at the nature of the work that people are doing today. People are earning £1,600 on average less than they were in 2010. Here in London, actually, we've seen the biggest fall in wages, £3,200 less now than in 2010. We've got 1.8 million zero-hours contracts. We've got 1.3 million people who are working part-time who would like full-time work. So when people like George Osborne tell your viewers they've never had it so good or it's all good, that is simply not a picture that is recognised by many people. And we've seen the extraordinary comments of the, of the Work and Pension Secretary, Ian Duncan Smith, today, saying that zero-hours contracts weren't a problem and actually we should rename them flexible contracts. I mean, here you've got somebody not even acknowledging exploitation, uh, simply wishing it away. Uh, head in the sand stuff from a Conservative Party whose general election campaign is increasingly seemingly falling apart. But isn't it a cause for congratulation that unemployment uh, was 8% when Labour left power and it's now down towards 5.5%? Well, as I said, any fall in, employment, in unemployment is welcome. Of course, when we left office, uh, growth was returning, unemployment was falling, but the fact that there are more people in work compared to last month is a good thing, but the nature of work is really important. And let's not forget that a huge number of people living in poverty in our country are actually people in work. We've got almost five million people who don't earn a wage they can live off. And we've got a situation with people on exploitative zero hours contracts that never mind actually earning money. They don't quite know when the shifts are gonna come. And that's why we will get the minimum wage to beyond eight pounds in this coming parliament. And we will also ban exploitative zero hours contracts. But the, I mean, the statistics do also the show that real wages are going up as well, uh, and particularly in the private sector. Now that surely uh, is also a good thing and something that uh, the government's economic stewardship can be congratulated for. But if you look at the wage rises that there have been, there has been an uneven spread and some higher earners have been getting uh, pay rises, but a lot of other people haven't. And actually, the reality of the situation, I'm, you know, in, in an area like this in London, is there are a lot of people here who have not had a pay rise for a very long time, and yet they've been paying more for the things that they need to be able to live their everyday lives. Figures are one thing, and okay, granted I've been banding around a few, but how people feel and their real life experience is quite another. And I still think for a lot of people, life is a real struggle, and what they want to know is what are you actually going to do about it. So beyond uh, getting the minimum wage uh, above £8 and banning explosive zero hour hours contracts, helping people with childcare, increasing the number of free hours of childcare for the parents of three and four year olds, that is very important not cutting tax credits which help make work pay, things like that. Those are all things that Lab Labour has been campaigning on and is committed to implement if we're elected on May the 7th, Adam. Thank you. We're going to have to leave it there.